Hello everyone. Today, well, a little bit early. Well, it'll be the same time in the future. We'll try to start this time going forward. And also, we are not playing with a camera today because I look like hell. <laughs> and my voice is hell, so it'll be interesting to voice act all the things. Good evening. <laughs> hello Fix, hello Mina. So, uh, I'll try to start at this around this time from going forward. And I'll also start er like end the stream earlier as a result. <laughs> no, this is just the uh, leftovers from uh, from uh, from being at the concert this weekend. Aww, that's too bad, Fix. You can catch up, you can catch up. So, um, I have made a mistake today in saying, sure, we can eat all the pancakes for dessert, drastically underestimating the amount of pancakes that were left from uh, yesterday. And uh, I have to eat a bit too many pancakes for my desserts. I mean, it's ice cream filled, but still, it's a bit much. I thought there were like six pancakes left, so that we would split, um, would split three each. There were eleven left. No, it was ten left. Whatever, too many. Mm, take care of yourself, pigs. Although I'm afraid I have no advice I can offer you on that. Mm. So I'm sorry for like the delays, but I have four pancakes I have to eat. And the negative thing is they are each of them they are filled with ice cream. So if I don't eat them up quickly I'll just melt away on my plate, which would be bad. Oh, nice! That is great. Okay, so we are starting. But yes, voice acting today will be kind of awkward, considering like my voice is just destroyed from this weekend. I can only like just feel it's like just just just. Bad. <laughs> <clears throat> the court is, will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh, nice. <laughs> Witness, please state your occupation and name. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Oh, wow, that's pretty quick. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed, we get it. Oh, why no? You're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling the wind, the howling wind calling it out. <laughs> yep, we're questioning him now. To be exact. Exact. It's Jake Marshall, your honor. <clears throat> Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described uh, that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. The crime took place. Is that correct? According to the papers, partner. <laughs> Uh. 
I mean, I don't blame brains for to do all sort of cat tangents. Mine does that all the time. It's not always the right time and place for it, though. What do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share your with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In plain old English. <laughs> My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. They said I was supposed to be making rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time we went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. <laughs> I mean, shoot, go for it. I mean, the game. Recommend it to everyone who hasn't played it. The game is amazing. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cow poke like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprints activated locks on the in the on the evidence lockers? Fingerprints activated locks? What kind of new fandangos do hickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or following orders. Everyone's got their weakness now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. I have a wonderful idea. Maybe I should have ten or feed me, but it doesn't work like that because I can only chew so much of this pancake at once since Bill Del Talkie. <laughs> okay. Yes, Pix? How exactly do you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made some no show nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That's that room's so still. There are a lot of competent first people in this world, but not necessarily this game. Oh, well, actually there are a lot of them, but they'll come later. But of the most of the witnesses, not really. I mean, the witnesses are flimsy and uh, terrible at best. But just competent people? <laughs> oh, they are involved. You just haven't seen them yet. Even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker who interred the recordings. You interred them? Videos of nothing ain't that useful. When the time will come, I'd raise the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, the tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing part of my life. <laughs> Not involved. This guy has a flair for dramatic, but it isn't doing him any good. So in actuality, you don't actually have to enter the evidence room. <laughs> they do. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? 
Ain't you heard of what do I said, partner? I told you that I made, ain't my style. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No, Desperado, I know. Let's rules get in this way. No, Desperados, I know would not join the police force. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime? Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in that evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? My dessert is melting away on my plate. <laughs> it is a little bit of that, yes. We need to get him to reveal a certain thing. This is one. We know there are three of them. You used to be a detective, so you used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold man of evidence. <laughs> and yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how the bike works. That's quite, um, incredible. The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It is well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that you mention it, the detective gumshoe said something like that too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that like this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing in the day the crime took place? That's actually incorrect what the judge just said. It is relevant because we have already discovered a, a discrepancy in the video. <laughs> what were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even anal steak lunches can beat that Paris Vogue sepia pasta. Do you mean to tell us you abandoned your police duty to eat some noodles? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm just gonna eat my ice cream and leave everything else for later because my ice cream is just melting away and I want my ice cream to be ice cream when I eat it. And everything else will just have to be a big old mess that I have to fix later. Give me a second. <coughs> yeah, there's already nothing left of it. Just melted ice cream. Sad melted ice cream. Well, there's no saving this. I guess I'll eat it later. That's strange. This is usually where Edward says, Did you not want to race this year? <laughs> yes, it is Mina. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall? Oops. That's right, partner. Or as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me on this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is wanted to carry me away back to the west, back west into the sunset. <laughs> One thing seems clear, despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have any seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card off my sleeve, so I'd best keep my cool. Before I use it though, I'd better off the ante. Yes, so we're going to be, let's see, there, present here, we're going to present with a video. Oh, okay, I guess we're not using that. 
Because we have his uh, fingerprints. Oh, we need to present the fingerprints first. I think we need to present the fingerprint first. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd that is that is you being called to testify like this? After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime, and yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Huh. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what is the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene. The blood was wiped away, however, a luminal test clearly revealed this. Officer Marshall? It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. <laughs> I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About the bloodstained fingerprints? <laughs> Bar is scary. Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. <laughs> Found at the scene of the crime. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place at the bloodstained fingerprint. The murder touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The blood stain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. Or did you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. <clears throat> the witness explanation appears valid, although there is room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now crawl examine the witness. This guy is hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. Holy. That's because, uh, how did you put it? The pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That locker I used when I was a detective. The locker still in use. All that was in there now is a pe pe heap of broken dreams. I see. It was strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently, his fingerprint data was never removed from the locker's programming. He must have been using the fingerprint lock all the time this time without even knowing it. So then, what about the bloody handprint? Was well, man, it's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is fit covered with my fingerprints. It's your hassle happened. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. 
you ain't got no get you ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? <laughs> Unrelated? There is a difference as day and night. Candle like cereal and cereal. One's got to do with breakfast and the other's type of murder. What's going on with the uh, with the fire alarm then? I mean, what? Oh, it's Felix. It's Ace Attorney. Like no one cares about such things. Like so, something as as trivial as someone brandishing a knife in court. <laughs> She's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see what ho uh, homonyms has to do anything with about this. How did you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on reports. There was a blood stain at the sea and it's thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we'll try that too. Hmm. So that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place the hand on top of Officer Marshall's handprint. That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? This seal of blood in the in the desert, it's just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape? So long as my trail ain't in there, you can say, can't say otherwise. <clears throat> this isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Bright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. <laughs> now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Actually, it is you, though, because we... What do you mean by that? You want to tell me this crime ain't that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless, it's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Places you can't see. The camera's pandering back and forth, the floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Ma Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall's present, please do so. We can, though. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might find us, or you might wind up making be the one being the mistake. Okay. Now then, let's have another look at that video. Show us in this incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jake Marshall. So, uh, here we go again with this wonderful music. Surprise, we ate too much. Bringing our attention back to the security of the camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll not soon forget, Officer Marshall. <laughs> Don't you like the blue badger? The hand of justice? <laughs> the days are short in Texas, so are our tempers. They're not. 
but hey. Could you sum up what you had to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. That locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witness, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video for a bit. Oh, the white cloth, it's gone. What is the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the, the time cr uh, crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the day of time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Oja, oja. Well, it seems how old your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Huh? Did you show the shirt? I have not shown the shirt. Do it. But my face. Alright. <laughs> You'll get to see my fancy new uh, shirt and merchandise on uh, Wednesday when my face doesn't look all that so messed up because of a stupid rash or something. I guess I had some bad reactions or something, so I'm red, red all my face, so I can save me for that. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? This guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah, I call your bluff. You say I open the locker, now prove it. Oh. Fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What, what, what kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. In any case, the lockers... Locks aren't that obvious. There are some, even some people who don't, on the force who don't know about the finger lock print, fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff. What do you have to say in eight words or less? I only got one f word for you, partner. No! Order! 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 Witness, explain yourself! If this is a joke, that is the worst I've ever heard. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the di Time of the crime. Ole! Please answer the question. What is he in now? A bullfighter? That's alright, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure out the rest from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet, Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. 